Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. I don't know you like that, nigga. Take it off. Oh, yeah, so Wicked Swami uh, actually did a camera work for this. I did the, I did the editing for it. Um, I feel like Rocky and I, I don't fucking remember, bro. It's, it's like we just do this shit. It just it's like, seems like infinite things that we're doing. But I feel like um, Rocky and I did the creative direction for it. Um, but also, this time we had some help on the back end with, you know, float and glass, which just makes it. It's this like team that kind of just came out of nowhere that was really helpful with this entire process. Um, yeah, so. Uh, we got to remind them, we got to tell them how this even happened. Like, um, Jay had a song and I had a song. And um, it just sounded the same. And we were like, this could go on a project together. This would be really cool. And then Jay was like, actually, no. Like, let's Travis Scott and break this shit and put it in one song, like, you know, um, maybe not them, there's people who've done it before them, but I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I swear, if you ask me my thought about this, and then finally, we, I was just like, I'm gonna trust you on this, and he had the idea, let's shoot, you know, I mean, once you see it, but like, in our hoods, in our, in where we came from, you know, this very, this piece is very New York, and I feel like, People may not know it or think it, but I feel like we are very New York. No matter like where we go, where we come from, like New York is, is, on, is on our back. Um, and we like to like, you know, bring the community in New York and help everybody in New York and be a part of something that is New York. And I feel like they only have like certain uh, spotlight going on right now on certain artists in New York and certain styles, you know, in New York. And we're trying to be like, yo, this more than that today, we know a lot of people who are very talented who are more than that. You know what I'm saying? Let's like shine a light on it. And how can we do that? Um, and then Bronson. Bronson was actually Jay's title. Like, a lot of this after credits and um, the, the creative direction and everything. And, um, and Tyler, shout out to Tyler. He's done a few videos with us. Um, he's being safe right now, but a rumpus and everyone like literally like I'm looking at a bunch of people who were like a part of this just like indirectly or directly who's on the scene, who's in the video, who's, who helped us push it, to flow, culture hub, our friends, we're, just, like, we're looking around and you guys all were a part of this somehow and we thank you so much for, for being a part of this. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, so for those who don't know, this project is actually being minted on glass.xyz and uh, glass is just a website that is kind of like a portal for artists to sell their artwork or whatnot so uh, when you guys do uh, decide to buy in on this project you do have to go through that website which is uh, very easy to use uh, once you connect your wireless and again we can uh, go over how I can help you guys later if you need help connecting your wireless or anything like that uh, one of the things I have right here that I do want to touch bases on is um, when you guys made this project, um, what would, how did you think uh, the initial reaction, how do you think the initial reaction for the project is going to be? Nobody knows yet, it, uh, unless she was in the Twitter spaces, but you heard the song, but like for the video though. Yeah, um, I think the cool thing for me, I guess it's just like from, because I've been studying the whole NFT thing for about a good year or so, but I never really took the first steps into actually like, you know, going into it or just like, I had a crypto wallet, but I never put no fucking money in it type shit, so it's like, today is just like, you know, seeing us actually mint it and just like, Oh shit, motherfuckers is buying the shit that we don't even know. It's like, you know. We was up at 7 a.m. by the Yeah, we was up at 7 a.m. <laughs> trying, to, trying to check the fucking gas fees and shit. Like, yeah. So, I mean, this is a cool project. I'm, I'm really, I really have no idea. I'm just going to, I, 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 I know this is going to be a great thing and I'm just, just welcoming it, honestly. I don't have any expectations. I'm just, I'm just grateful. Uh, can we talk about, like, the fact that, uh, I think what's really cool about this project is that because we teamed up with Flo and Culture Hub, um, we were able to be um, 
connected to certain opportunities um, just based off our hard work and stuff like that. But I think what's really cool is that, yes, we're on glass, but we are actually like, glass created this new thing, if I can say it in like the simplest terms. Um, where we are actually like the first artist to release a music video on this platform. Um, anything. So, anything. You can use anything on this, on this platform. So, yeah, you might be an artifact when you just look back on NFTs. I, mean, um, I think it's okay. I think it might be cool, yeah. Yeah, you so disappointed. You Drake! Drake! Drake. 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 Who? <laughs> you better check with that later first. So shout out to Glass. Um, it's called Prism. Um, after or any time, like while you're here or whatever, any one of us, you can just like chat with us um, on that process. That's really why we're having this event. Um, we could have just shown the video on Instagram, but we really kind of wanted you guys to see the process, talk with us, because there's a lot of artists here, like in a lot of mediums that we have a lot of people with knowledge here that we were like, it was, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure this happened to you, but like, at least for us, for the past year, people have been saying, get into NFTs, get into NFTs, get into NFTs, you shouldn't do NFTs. And we were like, ah, it's a lot of, you know, brain things. Like, you gotta pay attention, you know what I'm saying? But if you get in right now, this is really the time to get in right now, if you're an artist, uh, to explore. I think that's what I'm looking, we're looking at it, I've come a lot, but this is the time for you to like, Fuck what, like not fuck what too, not not fucking Instagram and and uh, Spotify, and, you know, digital care and all these things. Like, yeah, you still need that because a lot of the world is still that. But this is a space where you can be and do anything that you want to fucking do. There are no rules. Now. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Future, like, like you can literally do whatever the fuck you want to do in this space. You can go in there and do a poetry slam on video, and somebody in the world is going to buy that shit for what you think it's worth. And that's what we're trying to push and say, like, this is your value. Whatever you think you are worth, someone's going to believe in that, someone's going to support that, and why not? You know what I'm saying? And we just want to help you guys with that and show you how we did that as, like, a guinea pig. You know what I'm saying? So fucking talk to us after whatever. DJ NFT, Claude, Hallway, Juju, uh, Rumpus, Jay, me, you know, we can give you like the creative side of it, they can give you the technical side, but yeah. Yeah, like, I think the biggest part though, like, or the main reason why I'm here is that it, it seems like a daunting task, right? And ultimately it's like, if you just create good shit, we can help you walk through all the technical stuff. But you have to make the good shit first. Right? So I think the problem with the NFT space right now, and this is for everybody on IG or everybody that's got a camera out, is that the developers are the ones that are curating the space, not the people who are actually out here in the culture. Right? So somebody behind the keyboard is trying to tell you what's amazing, but then they're not out here. And they're not seeing people, and they're not actually experiencing the events where it's like brick outside, but there's still people that came out to see these two. Right, so while we can talk about technical prowess and we can run through all the technical bullshit, at the end of the day, if the shit doesn't slap, I don't give a fuck. Period, right? Like, just make good shit and then find a technical person and talk their ear off until they can fucking get behind a keyboard and, and guide you through it. Not, don't let these people do all of it and then charge you money for it. That's the point of Web3 is that you know how to have how to be completely self-sovereign so financial freedom um, we can buy everything I'm trying to buy an island next year <laughs> right nah, not even that i'm gonna just buy it i don't even want to go to it i just want to buy it <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm sell the pictures of my island as an NFT. <laughs> be like, okay, okay. Be like, have you been there? Nah, I haven't been there yet. It's nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna sell the pictures of my island as an NFT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you turn it down. Yo, so, uh, with that being said, uh, now that we kind of like introduced everything, that's what it was like. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's about to look like. <laughs>
now that we kind of like got a nice introduction of everybody on stage, um, we, uh, if you guys didn't know, we hosted a Twitter Spaces earlier this week, and in that Twitter Spaces, you kind of got early access to hear the song before it came out. But not only that, you kind of got to get a behind the scenes, um, intimate moment with uh, these two artists where, you know, they kind of talked about like how Future Legend came about and, you know, essentially like the origin story of Future Legend. And I really want to just take a moment before we do the, the video and the song, um, just to allow these two to talk about the origin story of Future Legend and how that story came about. Yeah, um, I think it was even more so important than like, I guess like going down memory lane like, and you know, how things came about. I think it's always like people often say like Future Legends and they use the S or they be like, oh, Future Legends, this is like, it's it's not pluralized because I feel like we are like one and we, we, we move as one, it's each one teach one and we've always been about like community and moving and like why we do things like this, it's like to connect, you know, everyone and, 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 and try like we all kind of like have each other's blind spots and shit. There's so many things like I would no shit about NFTs or any of this because it wasn't for Rumpy, so like Rumpy would probably would tell you some things about music or like that she probably wouldn't be doing if it wasn't for me and I probably still wouldn't even be fucking doing it if it wasn't for her so it's like you know um, and we have a whole bunch of like great friends that do amazing things that we just try to you know just try to keep elevating one another and I think that's just the main purpose yeah, everything he said. <laughs> no, basically, like, yeah, Jay, Jay uh, founded Future Legend, just like if anybody was interested in a quick synopsis, like, he founded Future Legend, we met each other, we were like, we like and want the same future for our careers. Future Legend, yeah. So that's how it happened. And we just, like, kept meeting like-minded people. We found our soul tribe. Um, you probably see them in a lot of our videos, like, recurring people because these are the people that we respect we trust we, we reciprocate that energy you know what i'm saying like and, and future legend really is like when you meet someone it's anything like, you know what i mean like it's when you meet someone you feel like connection you feel like you can grow and you know that person is gonna be out of here like you know that person is passionate about what they do and you respect it and you're gonna help them they're gonna help you it's just that reciprocation of energy and i feel like that's what that is and that's what we and jay are that's what we're like one and just get each other because it's that reciprocation of energy you know i'm gonna have this back it's gonna have my back and we're gonna make cool shit and meet cool people and have fucking fun you know what i'm saying like so that's like the origin and uh, yeah i probably wouldn't be doing music i would um i was a musical theater major i did musical theater my whole entire life like i, I wrote music I never thought that could be like a my life. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a full full-time recording artist, right? No you know doubt. what I'm saying? So like shout out to Jay Brown. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Yeah.